Hi guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to configure the uh, classroom feud add-on so that you can play family feud in your class. All right. So yeah, so to be able to download this, I'm going to provide that URL, uh, the workspace uh, URL in the description below. But you know, you can also find it if you go to workspace.google.com marketplace and then type in classroom feud, you should be able to see that listing here. All right. And for now, I'm going to show you how to configure, you know, a classroom feud so that uh, you'll be able to set up your own game in your class or in your group. All right. So first of all, what we want to do is we're going to go through the slides uh, classroom feud menu and then go to class configure classroom feud. All right. So that's it. And then I'm just going to click the uh, uh, and show you the slides here. So first of all, we want to copy the classroom field template first, the slides, because those are specifically configured so that this add-on will work, right? It's going to turn on and off, you know, calculate scores, etc. right? So yeah, so let's import this orange template first and then so we can um, see how it works, all right? So first of all, you got to do the import template slide. So yeah, so once it's, it's done, you will get three slides like this. So it's an intro slide here. And then there's this uh, question, kind of round and question. So these are all these items, the elements here, the page elements are all kind of pre-configured so that it will work properly with the add-on. And then there's uh, some slide description here. So, so yeah, so, um, so yeah, so that's the first thing you need to do. So the next step is you need to copy the question spreadsheet template. So you just need to click this link and then it will allow you to make a copy. So when you click copy, you'll see something like this, right? So there's a, like three sample questions in there, you know, uh, largest planet, etc., 10 largest states, whatever, right? So let's say I'm going to add a one, uh, add your own question. You can delete all of this, but it's important to enter the slide number here. And then it's important to maintain all the column headings there because uh, basically this denotes what slide number you're going to use as a template. So in this particular case, I defaulted to two because once you make a copy here, it's the second template as a second, second slide is the template for all of this. Right. And then, so yeah, so, so once you have this, um, you will enter, you know, the slide number, the question title, and uh, the question itself, and answer one, and the score for the number one, etc., up to number ten, right? So that's how you configure your question. So you should be able to list this. You know, you can you can kind of move this around too if you want to. You know, if the scores are all the same or whatever, you can move this around. It won't matter. You know, as long as the type, the heading is correct. And then you, you, you don't want to change those, right? So, so that, you know, the system will be able to, to move it over. So, yeah, so let's try it. Let's say let's add a new questions here. So let's say question four here. And then let's put, let's say, you know, who is the president? Who, uh, let me see. which states are on the west coast so it's california there's like oregon and then there's seattle right so let's say all of them have 30 points for example all right so you only have three questions there uh, three answers i mean so yeah so that's it uh you that's how you add the questions and then let's copy this url here and then we put it on step number three copy the spreadsheet url into this field and then we import the questions so you will have a few slides that will be added so you can see here this is the five largest planets you know what are the 10 largest states of the united states what are the 10 largest countries by popula population? And then the last one was which states are on the West Coast, right? So let's say we all show all our answers. You will see all the answers here properly populated with the scores. It's the same here on top. So that's kind of like how you configure them. Uh, you know, let's say you want to change your uh, X color. You can kind of pretty much show one X 
So it's going to show the one X on this page and then you can change the color of this one. But be sure don't delete this because, you know, if you look at the format options here, there's the alt text, you know, one X. So we need this in the app, right? So you don't want to delete that. You can change the color or move it around or whatever, but you don't want to delete that. All right. So yeah, so let's hide this. All right. Um, yeah, so you can also reset all scores here just in case you went through it and then you want to reset and reuse this. You can reset all scores here or you can cover all, cover all answers. Yeah, so that allows you to kind of cover all of them. If you show all answers, you can show all of that. It's going to flip this and then, yeah, I'll open it for you. Yeah, so basically that's how you configure this app. Um, yeah, so of course, uh, once you want to start, you may want to, you know, move all of this, you know, correct questions to the top of your slides, right? And then just hide all of this, the rest, or delete them. And then you can, you know, start playing from here. Yeah, when you want to play, I'll show you how to play. Uh, you just, uh, I have another video for that. Just uh, look at the description below for how to play this game. But uh, it's basically just extensions and then do play classroom feud, all right? So that's it. Uh, yeah, if you have questions or whatever, um, email us at support at addonsuite.com or you can also enter your questions in the uh, Google Forms that I'll include in the description below. All right, thank you. Have fun, you know, and let us know what you think, you know. All right, bye now.